session of uh, 600 seconds of trading, which is our trading video in the uh, market update here at tradecaptain.com. My name is Alejandro Zambrano and it is pretty much 9 a.m. in London where I'm based. And I'm going to provide you guys with a quick update uh, on the markets here in the uh, live trading room at tradecaptain.com. If you want to interact, then uh, you're most welcome to log in here uh, via YouTube. Just need to have an account with them it's all free and that gives you the possibility to uh, chat with me here in the uh, chat box um, so for any questions you know your dollar bitcoin gold crude oil or the dex 30 we're going to cover here you're most welcome just to write to me in the little chat box as well anything else sort of have a question on then feel free to just ask me Okay, uh, before we start, as always, I need to stress that trading financial markets unfortunately is risky and there's no guarantee that we're going to make any money trading. In fact, uh, this uh, increased likelihood that we lose money, number one reason for that is just because people use a lot of leverage. So if you want to avoid getting into the problems of losing money is to have use a moderate amount of leverage or some moderate amount. Well, I try to stick to maybe two, maximum 10 times whatever I have in my account. Uh, as an effective leverage uh, and as well you know trade with the trends use a stop loss don't put it too close to all the price action try to get uh, as a minimum if you're risking 100 pip look to make a 100 pip return usually I start out with maybe 150 pip stop loss looking for 150 pip 200 pip return then I usually have the opportunity to lower my stop loss. So the effective loss or effective risk is uh, less than 100. Uh, and then, you know, if the profit is reached, you know, I still get my 150. So at the end of the day, you, know, you try to set up what we call good risk reward ratio setups. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, and then what's important is, of course, the average loss versus the average gain so that's really what's important at the end of the day uh, if you like this presentation then don't forget to check out the technical analysis section we do have uh, more content here um, I just posted an update on the new zealand dollar versus the usd which is trading sideways and could become really interesting you know take out the high and the market could rally higher take out the low and the market could decline uh, i do think that you're probably better off waiting for the non form pairs on friday but the market, as it looks right now, could potentially try to take out the high even before that. As well, I uh, did a nice little update here on the Dow uh, 30. The market is trading lower on this 4-hour, creating lower and lower highs. But if we take out uh, 24,452, then I think this market could relatively upside. I did as well a bunch of other updates as well. You have Litecoin which is bearish below 176 is correcting, but I think traders are going to sell as we go up and as the market turns overbought and more and more as an example, pound dollar here as well. So there's a lot of good content here uh, not just by myself, but by other guys as well. I just click on load more for more on this. Okay, let's begin. And we're going to begin by taking a look at the Euro. So this is the Euro versus the USD and the market overall is you know trading sideways there's not a strong trend here which just makes it very difficult to trade uh, but if you want to you know choose a side then i do prefer the bullish side um, we do have a weak bullish bias uh, as we're trading creating higher and higher and higher as well the other side is oversold as you can see and the market should just you know Maybe today up to 23.20, but if we bottom out here, we should just head to the upside. Uh, reminds me a lot about gold. A few days ago, we said, look to buy down here uh, around 13.16, uh, and the market did go down and up and then down, but it sticked and it remained above, sorry, the trend defining level, and the market at one point finally rose to where we wanted it to go. So it went up higher, continued a bit more, then moved to the downside. So I think a very similar situation here to the Euro, where again, it could potentially bottom out here. Now, the biggest difference here though, is that this is not the most important low. The most important low for this whole um, pattern is the 2155 level, which is down here. So again, 
wouldn't trust this too much but if you want to trade and really want to trade the euro then i want to be bullish rather than bearish anticipating the market to hit this high in a few days here's bitcoin and bitcoin as you know i've been bearish from these levels up here stop loss was up here initially and then the market moved up and market moved down or lower the stop reach all the profit target levels actually the first did not go all the way down to the second and yesterday i said uh well this is probably gonna head higher uh, why because i suspected the market bottomed out and it looked pretty much you know like coin iota like all the other coins pretty much look the same uh so we were in a correction and we corrected to the first fib so 31.2 percent of the loss take a fib from the high to the low gives you these three lines and then a downtrend you know 50 percent correction is usually where the market is going to roll over or that's a good level to start to turn bearish and you see here as well you have this uh cluster of resistance so for now i suspect you know this market is probably going to continue to trade higher like this but hit if it hits 7811 8100 i suspect traders are again going to try to look to sell and um, the rsi will you know at these levels if it goes up it's going to be clearly overbought so i think over here we're going to roll over and i just want to be bearish below this level if you want to sell then the idea is to sell here the risk on this position is going to be on this setup it's going to be 20 also 19 percent move back down to the low make 17 continue to the downside 23. now the reason why you know this is a one-to-one -one really uh why because i tend to have very wide stop loss why because i only want to be stopped out if the trend genuinely has moved against me and with that in mind many times what happens is that the market yes might go up a little bit and then if i'm right it goes down then i can just lower my stop loss right so my effective average loss uh, gives me those risk reward ratios that uh, we need which is uh uh, risk reward ratio of uh, you know the risk the reward being two times the actual risk okay crude oil it's moving down as anticipated we took out the lows here with that in mind i said probably going to go lower i think this can continue to plunge to the downside the market is you know short term oversold on the four hour this can continue to remain over for quite some time and just because we hit an oversold level doesn't necessarily mean too much um i'm rather focusing on the big picture but again it's starting to hit oversold levels if it hits 62 61.50 then that wouldn't surprise me but starting already from 62.70 i think it's time to watch this market as it could potentially bottom out here probably above sorry 61 <laughs> uh, and then push to the upside uh again i like to have my stop losses far away from price action and at relevant levels uh, and sort of the biggest relevant level here that people are focusing on is 59.99 uh, okay it's bullish above here and the market should just be able to trade higher here's gold which we already discussed and gold is bullish but it's in the middle of the range we need to wait for a decline down to 13 16 to be bullish aiming for the highs i think it might go up might even take these levels out but not today not tomorrow probably not this month um i think it's gonna remain turning sideways here's the dax looking really good for us so here the idea was to sell at 12163 touch these levels last week and spot on moving to the downside and the market is trading lower and hopefully we touch the lows today that will be rendering a potential profit of about three and a half percent versus an initial risk of two and a half percent take out the lows and you probably want to keep this because this market could continue to move to the downside i'm not sure if we're going to take out the low but it's all about trade wars isn't it and that is driving the markets and that's it those are the main markets 
again, don't forget to check out the uh, technical analysis section uh, as well. We do have a newsletter, so you can subscribe down here. You receive two emails per day, uh, one morning update with the morning update and a few technical analysis charts. It's always good if you're looking for ideas to trade. And in the afternoon, you get this video plus the sort of top ideas plus an article or so that we think is interesting that you should be reading. Let's just see here if we have any questions. Good morning, Juan. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you're doing well. It's always good to see people here in the chat box. Thank you so much uh, for joining today and I hope you're finding this uh, useful. Uh, okay. If we don't have any question, I think we're going to wrap things up. Um, something I didn't mention, under education and webinars, we have a special webinar coming up uh, on the 10th of April, which is a webinar where I'm going to share with you some interesting trade setups that I'm watching um, and interesting ideas uh, to potentially trade. It's going to be cryptos, it's going to be euro dollar, it's going to be two, three big markets that can hopefully have a very nice decent return. Uh, throughout my career, well, I've been trading since 2006. You know, I had mixed success with short term and long term trading. And, and, you know, it's been quite difficult to find like a good style that works because you can sometimes have a cell that works very good for a few years and then on another occasion it works less good. So something I discovered uh, is that in 2014, sort of most of my winning trades are a few good trades every year. And these few trades would generate the bulk of my returns. And then on the way, to those we would have smaller smaller sort of losses one percent here two percent there and then you know you have a few gains 10 15 percent return on a trade or two uh, and it's those sort of big ideas that i'm focusing on maybe because i'm becoming older in the game i've been doing this for quite a long time as well uh, the the need to trade short term has definitely declined so what I'm doing nowadays as well as I'm focusing a bit more on the big picture is waiting for those big breaks. And those big breaks can happen in, in any market. Sometimes it's Forex, sometimes it's indices, sometimes it's commodities, sometimes it's emerging markets Forex, uh, like dollar South African Rand. And sometimes it could be Nordics, like Euro Swedish Kroner and Pound Swedish Kroner, which I traded this year. Or cryptos like it was in December last year. So there's a bunch of different things we're going to discuss and you're most welcome to join. Just click on education, webinars, sign up and you'll be a member of the premium section. We are as well revamping all of this. So not now, but probably in the next four weeks, uh, we're going to just have one basic level, which is just registration and then one real account level. So you can have potentially access to more content. Um, but if you want to have access to some premium educational videos today, you can always just download a demo from Amena Capital. Uh, so check it out. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Juan says, looking forward to the webinar. And uh, Antonio Jimenez says, hi, Alex. Nice to listen to you all uh, after all this time. Thanks so much, guys. I know you guys, I mean, some of you guys, and been following each other and, and you've been joining me here since daily FX times. So it's, it's, it's awesome to see that you're still here. Okay, guys, have a good day and I'll catch me here tomorrow, same time at tradecaptain.com. Thanks.